Hello and welcome! My name is Eva, let's continue our adventure with, of course, Carnival 5, so Interstellar and Engineer Carnival Collection, that means also Stacy Marie and Be Perfect Cosmetics brush set. These are the brushes, I'm going to use them, but I have an idea for today's makeup, so I believe I don't have specific shape of brushes that I need for this makeup, so these brushes are not going to be the only one I'm going to use today. Just notice that I haven't done my brows, which is fine. I'm going to play with, this is not a spoiler at all, at, at, at all, at all, <laughs> but with the greens. <laughs> one of the shades is called reptilian and uh, I even have little lizards as my earrings so hmm everything is themed today <laughs> today's makeup will be only blending no cut crease no spotlight no such things no eyeliner but I want to do one thing and probably I will achieve oversaturation but I want to check something I want to use uh, this shade not as the first one. I am afraid that I will achieve oversaturation. We'll see if you don't know what oversaturation is and uh, how it is different from the patchiness than this video. Uh, just my uh, two videos before uh, with Carnival Palette. There I explained you what is oversaturation and why it is not the same as uh, patchiness. All right, now I'm going to, of course, apply my P. Louise base, do my brows before that, zoom you in, and we can start. Let's start with the outer corner, obviously, and a shade, Meteor. I have a lot of shades I want to use today, so I need to be careful and not to apply this shade a lot and very widely. I'm going to use eight shades. It's a pretty good number. This is really nice green. By the way, I don't know why, but I feel like these matte shades are slightly a little bit different than in previous uh, Carnival palettes. Not like the formula is totally different. Formula is the same, blending is the same, but they are like hmm, much better pigmented. Now shade Celestial. This shade is incredible how much you can build pigmentation here. It's like two shades, one lighter green and super dark one. Never mind, let's take this celestial shade and blend this green up, not entirely up to my brow, because I have another shade to do that, but let's blend at least a little bit. And also I can blend this shade even to half of my brow, half of my eyelids, so let's do that. I will have to use my other brushes, not from the set, because I have so many shades I want to use today and there are not enough brushes in this set I need. It's not about not enough brushes when we are talking about number in the set, there's 28 brushes, so it's not the issue with number itself, but it's the issue with shape of the brushes. I need these specific shapes, so I will have to help myself with my other brushes, not only the set, and I'm taking a shade Lunar. And this is this gorgeous chartreuse that I'm going to use to blend everything even more up and also a little bit towards the beginning of my brow. Then I'm going to blend this chartreuse shade with other shade here. This is very nice, very pastel and light shade. But also remember that I'm using brush that it just doesn't allow to apply a lot of this shade. Keep that in your mind too. And now I'm taking shade Classified. This shade I'm going to apply in my inner part above my crease. So starting somewhere from my inner corner to the middle, let's say. A little bit I'm going to blend this shade with this green, but not much. More I'm going to blend this shade with the Chartreuse shade. By the way, this area, so inner corner, beginning of the brown and even the arch, so this triangle is very above your crease, of course. So this, this area is really nice to smuggle some color to your, for example, daily makeup. Here very nicely would look um, any kind of peachy shade, orange, yellow, even red. So if you want to smuggle some especially warm tone color, then try, try this trick. Okay, I'm taking this shade Celestial. A little bit also here 
on my lower eyelid. And now let's take shimmers. I'm taking shade Reptilian and I'm applying it on my outer part of my moving part of my eye. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I'm going, oh, mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. I wanted to say that I'm going to apply other shade here, so I'm keeping this shade more in my outer corner, but wow, this shade is so gorgeous, I'm speechless. Such a gorgeous shade. I swear this palette, this carnival palette has the best and the most beautiful shimmer shades from the entire carnival collection. <laughs> wow! This is shade Reptilian, more like supreme green. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. I love these kind of greens. And it's like a little bit duochrome green with gold shift. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think I'm going to scream because next shade I'm going to use is Cosmos. And this shade looks so beautiful that... I am afraid it's going to be too beautiful. <laughs> ah, ah. I swear I need more formula, shimmer formula in the future carnival palettes like this. Oh my, so, so pleasure to work with such formula. It's almost like creamy, it's shimmery, it's just beautiful. I'm going to blend both these shades together and I'm going to use just my sandwich technique, so layering. And with shimmers you can do it two different ways. Okay, my favorite way is to use one brush and apply one shade on one side and the other shade on the other side of the same brush. And what you're going to do, you're going to... Let's start with the lightest shade, it will be just easier. Tap the edge between these two shades and tap it like side to side and then switch and tap again. Of course, side to side and down up. Blend with tapping and this way. The transition between two shimmers will be almost unnoticeable. It will be just like, like you would create a little bit duochrome effect, if you know what I mean. There's also other technique which I don't know, maybe it will be more simple for you. It's just to take the lightest shade and just drag it on this darker one, because most of the time we use two different, like lighter and darker shimmer. Uh, so you can also do this. I much more like to just tap with two shades on this connection edge. Now I'm going back to shade Meteor, obviously to hide this edge with this... Mm -hmm. I forgot. I have a fallout on my own wish. I did it on purpose? What's wrong with me? I'm just blending my outer part with this shimmer to hide a little bit this area. And now I'm taking shade Mercury and I'm applying it on my lower eyelid inner corner. But if this shade will be, yeah, it will be. It will be light enough, so I'm going to use it later as my inner corner highlight. So after I clean this mess, do my eye makeup, I will just go back to it and apply it in my totally inner corner, so in this place instead of only lower eyelid. This palette has so gorgeous shimmers. Like, shimmers always were okay in carnival palettes, but it's some, like, in... <laughs> Let's say not every shimmer was the same and not every shimmer was so gorgeous and let's be honest, we all know some brands that has really gorgeous shimmers, like for example, hmm, I don't know, Nabla or Glam Shop, but I have to admit that uh, first uh, Carnival The Antidote, so the previous palette, has so so gorgeous like metallic shimmers and now this palette has <laughs> wow like these shimmers i use today like this mercury shade or these two are really special and if you would say that these shimmers are made by glam shop or nabla i would totally believe that 
especially with this shade mercury i'm using right now that's totally like like shade taken from uh, i don't know for example dreamy to palette it's not like identical but it's close it's really close okay now little experiment i'm taking shade alien that's the last shade i want to use today and first i'll just try it how much this oversaturation will be and if it will be here oh i don't even see it I don't even see it! Okay, let's just risk it. I'm taking my brush that is blending brush but has like sharp tip, like typical blending brush, like this one, like it's the same shape, but the difference is that here we have more round and more sharp tip and here the tip is more flat. So this brush I'm going to use to a little bit make my outer corner darker and I only hope that I'm not going to suffer from oversaturation because this makeup is amazing! It's beautiful, so let's just add slightly... Oh! I can see it! Yes! Yes! I am very very gentle right now because I am super afraid, I don't want to do any holes, I don't want to have oversaturation here, so I am super super cautious right now, but I don't see any oversaturation here, which means that these greens might not cause oversaturation issue, although I'm still risking. <laughs> So if there will be oversaturation here, it's only my fault. This alien shade is so deep. It reminds me a little bit of black, although it's not black. It's very, very deep, dark green shade. But because there is no oversaturation here, it reminds me about black, because with black shade, this oversaturation phenomenon, it's not as often. I only have one black shade that cause oversaturation and only with other super pigmented eyeshadows by its own it's fine this is the most beautiful green makeup I've done so far with these shimmers these are the shimmers Nabla should create it in a green cutie palette let's not talk about this <laughs> yellow cupizaro on my waterline now this makeup is complete. Okay, now I'm going to finish my face and I'll be back with my final thoughts about the shades I uh, tested today. I'll show you something. I'm not proud of it, <laughs> but it happened. Literally second video I recorded with this highlighter because after I reviewed it, I use it in, I think the video of Carnival palette, I think so, I am don't, I don't remember. And immediately after that, I dropped it. <laughs> new highlighter and I dropped it. Luckily this um, formula is a little bit like wet so I only needed to tap this crushed highlighter with my finger and that was all it needed. So it is pressed with my fingers and uh, well it works. Right now I applied it on my cheeks and it still looks uh, pretty well. It doesn't uh, break anymore so yeah it's it's all right. A little bit shame that I dropped it, obviously, but as you can tell, it's alright. <laughs> I think I want to turn this makeup into Christmas makeup. Maybe it's not a very good thing. <laughs> Although, you know, it's green, so the only thing I need will be red lipstick. And it so happens that I still have lipstick that I haven't tested yet, actually. And this lipstick is by Kiko. This one is Sparkling Lip Lipstick, and this is shade number four. And this is really nice, sparkling red. This is from the newest uh, Holiday Joyful Holiday collection, and I have video with this collection on my channel. I also showed you swatch and close up of this lipstick, but now I'm going to apply it on my lips, and I think that it should match to this makeup. So, this will be officially the first really Christmas makeup on my channel. Like the previous ones, you can also count as Christmas. Listen, 
everything can be a Christmas makeup if, if you want to wear it as Christmas makeup as well as makeup for New Year's Eve but I think that with these Christmas lights behind me <laughs> every makeup looks like Christmas slash New Year's Eve makeup I help myself a little bit with lip liner, but let's just talk about, well, the palette and eyeshadows, obviously, but I think that about the lipstick. Honestly, I haven't planned to use it today, but ah, this makeup looks great as Christmas makeup, so let's just keep it that way. So maybe let's start with the lipstick. First of all, this is like cool toned red. However, when I started to apply this lipstick, it wasn't like red, more like raspberry red. So this is like full pigmentation. It's cool toned red, but if you want to use very slight amount of this lipstick and only tap it on your lips, it will be more like very deep raspberry shade, which is fine. Like most of red shades aren't true red shades. Sometimes they are more on this pink slash raspberry side the most important is the final effect not what's in the middle so the final effect is cool toned red cool toned red means teeth are optically more white warm tone red is this red that makes your teeth more yellowish because it's more orangey red this is more cool toned red so has some bluish undertones that means your teeth will look much more whiter with such lipstick it's just it's just optical illusion besides the gorgeous color it's really comfortable lipstick and also i didn't have any issue to apply it but it's sparkly it has some particles and i have to say that i i feel these particles on my lips like little sand let's say i like it that it's not like sparkling sparkling it's not metallic it just looks like very healthy, shiny lipstick, healthy, just shiny lipstick. It's really pretty and I love the color. Uh, and of course, again, like with the matte lipstick I've tested, I regret that I didn't buy more colors. <laughs> so comfortable lipstick with really pretty, gorgeous color. Uh, a little bit like a sand, this feeling, but it doesn't bother me. It's not like a sand, like it's not that harsh. It's more like, like you would have a little bit dry lips. Maybe this is more accurate description. For me, it's not bothering, but it's uh, of course up to you. Will you enjoy this uh, sensation or not? And now let's talk about the palette or more about shades I've tested today. Very surprisingly, I didn't have any oversaturation, although I would be careful with that still. But I am pretty uh, amazed that uh, I didn't have uh, any oversaturation taking into account that this shade was super pigmented and it was already enoughly dark, let's say, and I still was able to apply this shade on top. With some super pigmented eyeshadows, this oversaturation is like 100%, it will be there and sometimes, like this time, not really, but still, <laughs> better to be sure than sorry, it's better to start with the darkest shade, especially with palettes like these, because obviously if you want to start from the lightest or medium shade and the darkest shades you leave for the end of your makeup, then maybe it's not a palette for you. This is simple, like the product should serve us not the other way. Mattes in general and Carnival palettes are very, very good and this is the reason I love Carnival palettes, because of the matte shades. But what really amazed me today are those shimmers. This is so gorgeous shade green with gold slash yellow particles. It's so beautiful and with this shade with this really pretty honey gold shade they make with each other so good pair i am obsessed absolutely and this is incredibly sparkling gorgeous gorgeous shade it looks like gold 
maybe a little beigey, but has greenish hue. I am not sure if you can see it, I hope so. When I'm looking at this palette, I can see that it's like a dirty with green, which doesn't mean it's dirty, because most of the time I try to use different brush for different uh, shade and that's why I am sure I didn't make it dirty. This mercury shade just has this goldish beige color with a little green hue but this hue isn't so let's say aggressive and this is probably last but one video with carnival palette when we are talking about review of course. So in the next video I think that I will finish reviewing this palette unless I will see some really nasty patchiness and I will have to retest some shades, but I doubt it. So far, this is really impressive palette and I think that it's the best palette from all Carnival palettes and I have all Carnival palettes, so I think I know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't have this All Stars and Remastered one, but Remastered one is just uh, XL Pro palette plus the OG, the first Carnival, which I have both of them so we can tell that i have whole carnival palettes and i have to say that this palette so far is the best from them all i'm not talking even about color story because this is very personal thing what you need what you're looking for and what colors you like to use but formula this palette and really i think that even matte shades are a little bit like even better than in previous palettes but maybe I'm imagining things. For sure shimmers are the best of the best. And totally by accident, this is the first Christmas makeup. I doubt that the next one will be also Christmas makeup look, but maybe it will be New Year's Eve makeup look, you know, full of grace. Unless you like to wear grace for Christmas. That's only up to you, obviously. And that will be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I love you very, very much and I see you soon. Bye!